Hey everybody, it's uh, me again, and I'm creating a video that has nothing to do with programming, but I thought it's useful for those of you that are on my channel, which is how to create a mail list uh, or a mass mail to, to your recipients. Um, I ran in a situation where I want to send uh, information to uh, my students, so here's how it works. What we're going to do is that we're gonna, usually you have a list comes from, uh, um, you can download it or put it in an Excel sheet. The best thing to do is put it in an Excel sheet. And in the Excel sheet, you have information that you want to send to your recipient. For example, you have information, name, last name, and then <clears throat> the email may be provided or may be generated. I'm gonna show you how we generate the email. And then greeting, and then the information that like an ID you wanna to send to your student. So what do you do? You could, First, we need to generate this email because this is the email address that that uh, we want to we want to send it to. So this is your email. Uh, then the next thing we do is that we say uh, we use the one of the Excel functions, which is equal concatenate. See that you select it, and then you can put format your email however you want it to be. So I'm gonna say my email address co is com consists of the first name, and then comma underscore. I'm gonna put an underscore, separating the two names, quotation again, then comma. Now I select the last name, and then comma, and then I'm gonna put the domain name, which is the address, I'm gonna put under quotation, and then uh, add, and then let's say it's gmail.com, okay? And then close your function. So now I got my function, now I can copy this function, to the next cells. Now, if you have a lot, of, you know, have a lot of names, you just simply drag it down to the list, and then you're done. So now we're done with this Excel sheet. The next thing to do is that go to Word and create uh, your email. All right, using the information that we have in here. So I'm gonna switch to Word here. And now, in, in Word, after you open Word, you create a new document, blank document. Okay, and then now what you do is that you uh, you create. Okay, let me. There's a problem with the recording. Let me do this quickly here. Um, okay, so uh, we are in Word. Uh, you can type your email. For example, say dear, whatever you want to say here, your ID. Your new uh, your uh, new ID, for example, is, and then we're gonna send that ID to the student. All right. So how do we get the information from the Excel sheet and create this mail merge? First thing you do is that you click on this mailing, and from here you can do select merge. You can use a let you can use Word document or you can use uh, mail message. So I'm gonna select mail message, email messages, all right? Here's my email. Now, the next thing I need to do is that select my list. Where is the information coming from? So you can do select, and then you use existing list. And now I have already the file that we just created called mailing list. Select it from the top, hit OK. And then here you select the sheets, OK? The information is in sheet one, <laughs> so we're OK. So once you've done that, the information is available for us right now. Okay, <clears throat> how do you know that? Now notice you have, um, you can select the recipient list, you can filter whatever, whoever you wanna send it to, or you can uh, uncheck the names that you want, to, or you mean you can select the information, which information you wanna send, or in, right now we have, don't have a lot, so we're gonna say okay for all of them. And you can now use this uh, insert merge field. Okay, so you can say insert for merge field, and I'm gonna select, for example, dear first name, a first, and then I'm gonna put comma. Okay, close, you can see that. Now you can put comma here, now it says dear first name, last name, your ID is, and then I'm gonna select again, insert merge field here. And then that is my ID, the ID that I'm gonna send to them. Okay, and said, Close. If you want to say dear Mr. or Miss, you can actually put it in front here. 
So again, you can do insert. And then select greeting. Okay, close. All right, <clears throat> so that's it. That's all you have to do. Now to view it, to make sure that it works, you can actually uh, preview result. You see that? And then you can click so it works. But I think I have, uh, there is a problem here. You can see that? Omar, Omar, there's, there's problem with the field name. So how do I fix that problem? So you can go back. Um, um, uncheck the preview okay first name I use first name first name right so delete this guy and then let's insert that field again and I should be using last name here okay close and then you can preview again now it's okay all right okay so now we're done, we know how it looks like. All you need to do is uh, email it. So all you do is that you click on Merge and just simply click on Send Messages and then it will use Outlook if you have Outlook configured and then it will send all the messages. So that was it. It's quick and simple. I know there's a lot of steps, but once you do it once, it becomes really easy, all right? I hope you found this useful and I'll see you on the next video.